because I start with the top of the guitar because it's where you're most focused and it's where you really have to think about what you're doing and you have to and it, I, you have to really be aware no distractions no thinking about anything else because you'll end up slipping and, and damaging the body there's other areas where you can kind of just mail it in and that's on the sides here always be real cautious about the edges and I always hold the razor blade like this so there's the, the thickness of the binding is what I'm scraping you're working sections like this and if anything you might want to do everything except for that last area of black because then you can cut them, well, I'll show you, but you can come back and cut it this way. That way you're not hitting the surface. On most of these, I'll put one coat or two coats of nitrocellulose lacquer over the top because that's what most of the customers want. That's what's on here. I'm just, you know, it, it's the same stuff. Never put another hand in in the path of the razor blade either. You take your time if you're distracted, do something else. And once you get the hang of it, you'll find you're cutting both ways. And sometimes they get the best results with pushing, getting more off of it. This side I've already done where it goes under the neck. Most of the time when I do this, the neck is on and I'm just putting the piece in there. It's, it's way easier to install it this way and you get a cleaner job and you make sure that this is really tight, glued tightly so it doesn't pop off later. Again, I think I've talked about this area being a very concern in this area because it's constantly trying to pull away. And if you look at some vintage guitars, uh, they're they're pulled away at that spot, but anyways, you have to have the neck with you, and you need to check this all the time as you're scraping this to make sure that there number one isn't going to be a gap under here, and number two that it's not going to be influencing the height of the neck and the neck extension of the of the fretboard extension. So this side I haven't done yet. And you can see it, it looks flared out. It looks funny. It's not right. So it's a it's the matter of shaping this and continuing to shape and putting the neck in and making sure that it's got equal contact and that the gap here at the heel is is pretty uniform. Just so you can you know, don't over sand it just because it's off the neck. The other thing you have to be concerned about when scraping the binding is in this area where, where it, because it's being compressed, there tends to be, it's almost U-shaped where it's, it's lower in the center, it's higher on the edges. So as you scrape with the razor blade, you watch to see what it, how it, you can, if you really look at it, you can see what you're scraping, what's going away and what's left behind. You'll see this is an area of glue that's on the finish. And as I said before, when you get the glue on the finish, you got one chance to, to swipe it away. And if you don't get it that time, don't worry about it. Leave it on there. I'll show you how to deal with that. Some of the times you can just do this and it comes right off and doesn't deal with the finish at all. So 
And that's what's happening here. Feel with um, when you go over with the razor blade or straight edge and the 180 sandpaper, you're you're seeing with your hands really. You can feel every little imperfection, and that's what you're that's what you're getting out. There's a little bit of a divot there. So how do you deal with a divot? You stay on the high sides and don't touch the low side. A little bit of this will be made up with clear when you spray the clear on here. That you can kind of tool it in a little bit. Um, here's an area where it's kind of chattery, where the razor blade was bouncing on the celluloid. So just lightly, lightly bridge the gaps until it's uniform. Because there's nothing worse than seeing these these lines, these things right here in the finished product. Some of it's unavoidable. It's totally, un it's totally avoidable if you're refinishing the whole instrument, but you're saving the finish. So there's some things that have to be, if, if, if it requires going down too far, the better thing to do is to leave a little bit of the chatter marks, but in this case, it's all going away.